Hi, everyone, and thank you for your interest in the Kentucky Market Goat Validation Program. Please make sure you are current on tagging deadlines and rules. Should you have any questions, please contact the Kentucky State Fair Office, Kentucky Department of Agriculture, Shows and Fairs, or the State 4 H Livestock Specialist. First, let's visit the following website, kystatefair.org. We will scroll over to participate and hit Submit DNA. We will then need to click the link to order KUIP tags. You will then be directed to the tag order form where you will be prompted to pay by credit card at the conclusion of your order. Once your order is processed, you will receive via mail a nominating envelope from the Kentucky State Fair. We will want to check to ensure we have received the following. Instruction sheet with QR code, 840 EID tag, also known as KUIP tag, and a DNA envelope, which you will have one envelope per tag. We also need to round up the necessary tools in order to tag our market goat and pool DNA. Here you will see an Allflex Red Universal Tagger, which is recommended, and a pair of pliers. We have all that we need. Now let's restrain the market goat we are wanting to validate. This can be done through several means. However, it is highly recommended to place the goat on a sheep and goat stand so that you can have adequate control over the goat. We want to prevent the goat from thrashing and harming anyone when we tag and pull hair. We will first put the KUIP tag in the animal's ear. Note that it does not matter if the tag goes in the left or right ear. We want to make sure that we are putting the tag in between the ridges of the ear. We can identify the ridges by running our finger on the inside of the ear and locating the bumps. We want the tag to go to the center of the ear, again in between the ridges. We will now clamp down and ensure the tag is securely in place. Record the 15-digit KUIP tag number and save for validation form completion. Next, we will want to fill out our DNA envelope. Ensure that we have the correct animal identified and have all the necessary information filled out. DNA envelopes without exhibitor and parent or guardian signature will not be accepted. As a reminder, on the DNA envelope, Supervising CEA slash VAT signature and technician signature are not required. Approximately 60 hair follicles need to be pulled. We will use the pliers to help pull roughly 60 hair follicles from the hair around the hoof line. Do not cut the hair. Make sure you pull close to the root because we want the follicle to come with the strand of hair. Pull the hair away from the animal, not at an angle. You may need to repeat this process two to three times to get the necessary amount of hair follicles needed. Place the sample directly into the self-sealing collection envelope. Avoid touching the hairs as much as possible or using plastic bags. Send the DNA envelopes back to the Kentucky State Fair by the deadline. Scan the QR code on the instruction sheet to complete the validation submission, ensure that all fields are complete and the submission button has been clicked.